in phase, out of phase, left channel, right channel. The audience is laughing. Hi, Brian. You're early. Your teacher-student conference doesn't start for another hour. I'm sorry I didn't do my homework. Don't worry. I'll just have to punish you by taking off my bra. Brian! I, oh, yeah, yeah. Brian, can I talk to you? Sure, sure. Listen, I appreciate you letting me live here, mm -hmm. but as roommates, we have got to have certain boundaries. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm glad we have this talk. No, 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 Brian, listen, sit down. All of my bras are missing. So you're not wearing one now? <laughs> Look, I was walking past your room, and I couldn't help but notice these. <laughs> no, I didn't take those. Well, they were on your bed. And they were covered with saliva. Julie, I wouldn't steal your bras and drool all over them. I hate bras. They stand between me and what I crave. Well, then how do you explain this? Uh... Well, I guess someone owes someone an apology, huh? Brian, I'm sorry I shouldn't <laughs> have suspected you. I just... What is that? What's what? Sometimes my boxers just aren't enough. Morning. Hey. What's going on? Kevin's giving another motivational speech. He's such an amazing speaker. He can make those kids do anything. <laughs> well, almost. I loved what he said about setting goals, you know? Just wish I had something left to accomplish. Well, if your work here is done, then it's time for you to go back to hell. <laughs> Kevin's right. I have to think positively. I can be a better person. I can be a better manager. I can master the art of tantric sex. I have to think positively, too. I can get that image out of my head. <laughs> me? Excuse me. The youth of America needs me. Hey, everybody, this is Brian Ben Ben. Give him one. <laughs> <laughs> this man right here is my role model. Oh, oh shucks. Because <laughs> when the going gets tough, this man gets rough. <laughs> <laughs> and that's good, because in the last month, his life has completely fallen apart. <laughs> he was fired as a news anchor and replaced by someone younger and prettier. Well, I, I don't know about that. <laughs> Look, that's the man that replaced him. Not only that, he took an 80% pay cut, and now he's living with this beautiful woman, but they're just friends. But you could cut the sexual tension with a knife. <laughs> Kids. Now, can anyone tell me why this man's life is even worth living? Anyone? Please? Because you can never give up! I remember when I retired from football, I felt as though I lost my reason for living. I just sat on my couch for weeks, stopped bathing, didn't wash my clothes. Oh, people, I was funky. I hit rock bottom. Then I decided to turn my life around. And you know how I did it? Three steps, three simple steps that can change this man's life. Now, come on, kid, let's hear it. Think it, see it, do it. That's it, think it, see it, do it. Now, what's your goal, Brian? Think it. Well, I, I, uh... What's your goal? I want my old anchor job back. Now, visualize it. Are you there? Good evening. This is Brian Benben. Tonight's story... 
Hey. Yeah. Hey. Now, what are you going to do about it? Right. Let that inner dog bark. <laughs> I can't hear you, Ben Ben. Woof, woof, woof. What are you waiting for? Go! 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 Beverly? Down, boy. I had a private session with Kevin this morning. to City Hall say the mayor will make his decision by tomorrow. Chad? Thanks, Tabitha. Well, now that all the real news is done, why don't we go to Brian for tonight's L.A. story? <laughs> well, it looks like L.A.'s got another restaurant, but this one's a little bit different, and it's owned by Bernie Leckie, the ultimate sports collector. That's right, Brian. I've been collecting since I was six. I got Muhammad Ali's cup. I got George Brett's pine toe bag. I got everything. And you can see it Friday night when all these big sports celebrities gather for the grand opening of Bernie's Sports Bar. Hey, whoa, whoa, Bernie. <laughs> Slow it down a little. We, we've still got two minutes to fill. <laughs> I'm sorry, sometimes I get excited. But that's just because I have everything a sports fan would want, and it's all going to be on display tomorrow. Okay, oh. somebody's going to get a spanking. <laughs> okay, Bernie, why don't you just tell us what you've got? We I got soccer here, baseball, football, the wall of shame, boxing. Oh, wait a second, wait a second. What's that wall of shame? It's fabulous. It's a display that chronicles all of the worst mistakes in the history of sports. Well, why don't we take a look? It's great. Very new. Very new. Very exciting. Let's follow Rain Man, shall we? Ooh. You're gonna love this. Do you know what this is? This is the football fumbled in the 89 conference championship game by your very own Kevin LaRue. Uh, oh, that's, that's very interesting, but let's keep it moving. Hey, what's that shining over there? Is, is that Dennis Rodman's nipple ring? This fumble ended careers. It ruined lives. Some say it caused a recession. Allowed the Japanese to buy it most of Hawaii. Well, what can I say? It was a hard tackle. <laughs> the amazing thing was, no one tackled him. He was by himself and he just fumbled. We call it the ghost tackle. <laughs> Look, folks, I was at that game and that was a huge hit, right, Kevin? Uh, uh, yeah, that's right, Brian. It was the kind of a uh, bone crunching hit that a man never forgets. <laughs> no, you couldn't see the fumble on the TV broadcast, but I bought a tape from an amateur cameraman who was on the sidelines that day. Watch for yourselves. <laughs> he tripped over his own feet. If you missed it, don't worry. I have it on a continuous loop. Wow, he did trip. This is dynamite footage. <laughs> Brian, you're killing me, man. Uh, oh, uh, <laughs> oh, hey. Hey, is that a menu I see yeah. over here? Well, let's see what you're feeding everybody on the big night. Oh, this looks great, folks. And if I were you, I'd start with the nachos komenichi. <laughs> of course, followed by the Kareem Abdul kebabs. And do you know what I have for dessert? A LaRue turnover. <laughs> you get it? Turnover. It's covered in its own shame sauce. We seem to be having some technical difficulties. So just... <laughs> sauce of shame! <laughs> Was that Bernie out of control or what? <laughs> Look, man, I didn't know about the wall of shame. It's okay, Brian. Hey, I don't have to be a sportscaster. There are other careers for ex-athletes. Come on, come on. Let me do another story to make up for it. You know, uh, maybe a piece about how you made it to the NFL. Well, that's a great idea. Let him do another story on you. Hey, I know. Why don't you interview the woman who took his virginity when he was 27? Really? We've been getting calls all day. Great work, Brian. People love to see you humiliate Kevin. Maybe tomorrow. We can get a shot of you eating a LaRue turnover with shame sauce ripping down your chin. Well, well, just be thankful she didn't ask you to eat a Marv Albert salad with cross-dressing. But that has a bite. Kevin, 
I feel horrible about this, but I'm going to make it right. Oh, thanks, but you've helped enough. No, 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 I'm not going to let you down, because you've always been there for me. You know, uh, when I got divorced, when I lost my job, when I sat on the rake, <laughs> and, and when the doctors removed it. Well. That rake in your ass story ain't going to work this time. <laughs> Come on, look, I know this looks bad right now, but it's all going to blow over. No, it's not, Brian. Now everybody knows how I fumbled that football. I've lost all credibility. If they don't respect me as a player, they're not going to respect me as a sportscaster. Okay, okay, look, maybe you weren't a great running back, okay, but you're a great sportscaster. Oh. Yeah, you just got to go out and do a good story, and everybody's going to forget about that fumble. No, nah, I don't think so. Okay, come on, look, what's the biggest sports story in the city? Well, there's the Lakers charity game. Perfect, perfect. You cover the game, interview some celebrities, nobody's going to remember that fumble. All right? right, all right, I'll do it. But if this doesn't work, you're going to have another rake story to tell. <laughs> Don't even joke about that. To this day, I still can't take my pants off and sit in a pile of leaves. <laughs> Oh, no, man, if this is such a good idea. Come on, it's gonna be great. Uh oh, look, I don't know, man. These guys can smell fear. Come on, you're the best sports caster in LA, and everybody knows that. All your peeps are gonna give you your props. I wish you wouldn't do that. <laughs> Come on. Okay, you can stop that too. Now it's time for sports with Kevin LaRue, who's coming to us live from the forum. That's right, Tabitha. Tonight, Laker Legends gathered for their annual charity game. It was cause for celebration. Hey, it's you Butterfingers LaRue. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 yeah, hey, that's man. Okay, Kareem. <laughs> <laughs> it was cause for celebration because hey, tonight... I smell fear. <laughs> hey. <laughs> all right, tonight's game... Uh, all right, all right, hey, 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 hey. The late, stop. The Lakers are usually... Uh, uh, okay, I'm okay, trying to okay, do my job. Okay, okay, okay. okay, okay, okay. What do you say we even the odds? Yeah. Yeah. Come on now. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. This is better than a live execution. Not many men can pull off that look. Are the kids here yet? Uh, yeah, they're here, but hey, if you're tired, we can talk to them. No, no, it's my job. I'm the motivational speaker. Good morning, kids. Good morning, Good morning buddy. Fingers. I know we spent a lot of time together, and I've told you the importance of having uh, hopes and dreams, but I just want you to remember that uh, one day those hopes and dreams are going to sneak up and bite you in your ass. That's life, baby. That's life. Yes, I'm Brian. This is Billy. I can't even hold on to a football. <laughs> towels, snapping towels. Uh, Kareem, swirly. I'm a 35-year-old man. I'm a 35-year-old man. I can't even please a woman. Did you know that? Did you know that? <laughs> Let's hear it from Mr. LaRue. Don't ever get old, kids. Don't ever get old. Maybe the fumble was I don't want to talk about it. Hey! <laughs> Look at you two. Friday night, couple of single guys sitting on the couch, drinking beer, watching TV. <laughs> Friday night, couple of single guys sitting on the... I'm sorry, I can't keep this up. This is just too depressing. <laughs> Listen, if it helps, Ryan. Know. Can I just not think about this fumble for five minutes? Sure. Yeah. Drop the ball. <laughs> drop the ball. Yes. You dropped that ball. Did you drop that ball? Did you drop that ball? Yes, you did. You dropped that ball. You dropped that ball. Did you drop that ball? You dropped that ball. Yes, you did. Really? What? You think you could do that someplace else, please? I can't believe it, man. I dropped the ball, the most important game of my life, and I dropped the ball. 
Come on, man, you made a mistake. It happens. You shouldn't feel bad about yourself. You are bad! <laughs> bad, 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 bad! <laughs> bad, 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 bad! Julie! Bad. Julie! Please? Who am I kidding, man? I'm always dropping things. I'm a clutch. Come on. That's just not true. It doesn't matter. My career is over. I can't do sports anymore. Oh, come on. You can't give up just because you got popped with a few towels. You know, I'm the one who got the wedgie. <laughs> and after that rake incident, I'm very sensitive now. <laughs> you don't understand, Brian. I'm a complete fraud. You know when I tell those kids that I got all depressed when I retired from football? Well, that's a bunch of crap. <laughs> I didn't retire. I quit. I quit because I knew how I fumbled that football. What? So now you're going to quit again? Yeah, that's the idea. <laughs> you keep running away from this, and it's going to haunt you for the rest of your life. you got to go back into the lion's den. What are you talking about? We're going to go to the opening of that sports bar tonight. <sighs> and when you go in there and face this thing, all those other athletes are going to give you respect. Uh, I don't think so, man. Oh, yeah, I think we're no, going. No, I don't think so. What, what was that? Huh? No, I thought I heard a little squeak. What are your flowered panties too tight? <laughs> Flowered panties? Oh, I don't wear flowered panties. Your daddy wears flowered panties. <laughs> That's my girl. That's my girl. What are you going to do about it? Huh? Oh, 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 I'm going to kick your ass. <laughs> What's that, Mary? I'm going to kick your ass. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah. 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 I'm going to kick your ass. Yeah. Come on, man. What's up? Just go, man. I'm going to kick your ass. Yeah. 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 Don't, don't forget that sports bar. Oh, there. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right, right, right. I'm going to go to the sports bar. Yeah. Uh, oh, but first, Brian? Yeah? I'm going to kick your ass. <laughs> Come on. Let's go. Okay. Okay, okay. Head up. Yeah, just out. Put on your game face, man. Uh, yeah. 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 Now, all you got to do is go out there and get your respect. Stop that. <laughs> hey, look, guys. It's Butterfingers. <laughs> hey, LaRusa. <laughs> How you doing, Kurt, Kareem, Flojo? Hey, don't take it so hard. We're just kidding. Don't worry. He can't hold a grudge. He'd just drop it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, how many LaRusas does it take to change a light bulb? Oh, that's right. He dropped it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's it. I'm out of here. No, 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 you're not quitting. I'm not going to let you. Come on, think it, see it, do it. Oh, don't start with that crap. Think it, see it, do it. Come on, now, think. What's your goal? Respect. Okay, now, visualize it. Yeah, yeah, now, what do you see? I see that football burning in my fireplace. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's it. Yeah, I'm watching that football burn, and, and, and Naomi Campbell is feeding me a lamb chop. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, there you yeah. go. Yeah, and I'm saying, I'm not hungry, baby. <laughs> you can just give that to Vendela. She's doing all the heavy lifting. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. No, bring, it back. bring it back. Bring it back. Bring it back. All right. Okay. Now, what are you gonna do about? It? I'm gonna. I'm gonna. <laughs> Can you see it? What do you think? Yeah, yeah, you know, uh, well, for my stuffing, I always add uh, finely chopped fresh oh. pippin apples. Oh. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and just a saucon of cinnamon. <laughs> 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 yeah. It's stuck. No, 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 wait a minute. 
Uh, 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 take the bird? Yeah, yeah, let's go, let's go. Hey, they're stealing our turkey! Come on, let's get them! She's got a date. Oh. <laughs> well, I, I gotta say, it seems strange to eat turkey without cranberry sauce, you know? No problem. <laughs>
Sources close to City Hall say the mayor will make his decision by tomorrow. Chad? Thanks, Tabitha. Well, now that all the real news is done, why don't we go to Brian for tonight's L.A. story? <laughs> well, it looks like L.A.'s got another restaurant, but this one's a little bit different, and it's owned by Bernie Lecky, the ultimate sports collector. That's right, Brian. I've been collecting since I was six. I got Muhammad Ali's cup. I got George Brett's pine tour bag. I got everything, and you could see it Friday night when all these big sports celebrities gather for the grand opening of Bernie's Sports Bar. Yeah, whoa, whoa, Bernie. <laughs> Slow it down a little. We, we've still got two minutes to fill. <laughs> I'm sorry, sometimes I get excited. But that's just because I have everything a sports fan would want, and it's all going to be on display tomorrow. Okay, <laughs> somebody's going to get a spanking. <laughs> okay, Bernie, why don't you just tell us what you've got? What... I got soccer here, baseball, football, the wall of shame, boxing. Oh, wait a second, wait a second. What's that wall of shame? It's fabulous. It's a display that chronicles all of the worst mistakes in the history of sports. Well, why don't we take a look? It's great. Very new. Very new. Very exciting. Let's follow Rain Man, shall we? Yeah. Ooh! You're gonna love this. Do you know what this is? This is the football fumbled in the 89 conference championship game by your very own Kevin LaRue. Uh, oh, that's, that's very interesting, but let's keep it moving. Hey, what's that shining over there? Is, is that Dennis Rodman's nipple ring? <laughs> This fumble ended careers. It ruined lives. Some say it caused a recession. Allowed the Japanese to buy it most of Hawaii. <laughs> well, what can I say? It was a hard tackle. <laughs> the, the amazing thing was, no one tackled him. He was by himself and he just fumbled. We call it the ghost tackle. <laughs> you know, look, folks, I was at that game and that was a huge hit. Right, Kevin? Uh, 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 yeah, that's right, Brian. It was the kind of... Uh, Bone-crunching hit that a man never forgets. <laughs> no, you couldn't see the fumble on the TV broadcast, but I bought a tape from an amateur cameraman who was on the sidelines that day. Watch for yourselves. <laughs> he tripped over his own feet. If you missed it, don't worry. I have it on a continuous loop. <laughs> wow, he did trip. This is dynamite footage. <laughs> Brian, you're killing me, man. Uh, uh, oh, uh, <laughs> well, hey, hey, is that a menu I see over here? Well, let's see what you're feeding everybody on the big night. Oh, this looks great, folks. And if I were you, I'd start with the nachos komenichi. Of course, followed by the Kareem Abdul kebabs. And do you know what I have for dessert? A LaRue turnover. <laughs> you get it? Turnover. It's covered in its own shame sauce. We seem to be having some technical difficulties. So just, just... Source of shame! Oh. Now it's time for sports with Kevin LaRue, who's coming to us live from the Forum. That's right, Tabitha. Tonight, Laker legends gathered for their annual charity game. It was cause for celebration. Hey, it's should... Butterfingers LaRue. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening, yeah. man? Hey, nothing, man. Okay, Kareem. <laughs> <laughs> it was cause for celebration because hey, tonight... I smell fear. <laughs> hey. <laughs> all right, tonight's game... Oh, all right, all right. Hey, 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 hey. Uh, the lake... Stop it. The Lakers are usually... Oh, 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 okay, now, I'm okay, trying to do my okay, job. Okay, okay, my okay. Job. okay. What do you say we even the odds? Yeah. Yeah. Come on. What you gonna do? Come on now. Don't wait. No, wait. 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 Wait.